Okay, with this method of flint napping, I have an engraved rock. I'm going to use that for a little uh, table to work on. Put leather over it. I'm going to prop this rock up against it and have this punch. As long as this is cut off square and this is the right height, it should take a flake. Now that took it all the way across. Get a good close up of that. It took it all the way across, an overshot flake. And the reason it did is the energy from this goes horizontal every time. Because this is the right height and this is the right shape. So you can control the flakes. The deal is, you also have to, where the energy is always this way, you can control where this uh, flake, how the flake looks. If this represents your biface, this represents your energy, it's always horizontal, then you hit it and it goes through like that and it comes out you know, straight, straight across from it. Now the deal is, if you put your finger right there, it'll stop the energy from flowing. It'll stop short there. You have a shorter flake. If you hold it in place, but you don't touch right here across from it, you can just hold it here and there, then it goes right on through and you get an overshot flake. Also, if, okay, with this my, being my energy from my punch, this is my biface. Now this time, I want to make a shorter flake and have it come out in the middle. So I have to turn this and I'll stick this in. It's still horizontal and you poke it in at an angle. You hold your piece at an angle and then see where it comes out. And it comes out shorter than all the way across. So you've taken a shorter flake off. When you go to flute, you're at this end of it lengthways. And if you take it, if you hold it this way, watch what happens. It comes out the top and you've broken your piece. If you take it horizontal, it'll go all the way, the full length of the thing, if you've got an en enough energy to do it. Clovis, what they did was start here and cock it up a little and it come out about halfway on the biface. And that's how you flute and how you control your flakes just by moving this cocking it one way or the other okay, okay when I'm going to take a flake this angle of this right here is set by the height of this a, two, a piece of leather wrapped around my, my little working surface my stone when I put a point or a part here that I want to take a flake this angle my platform needs to be close to the same angle as this so that they'll match up good if you can see this right here, that's a pretty good angle. And I can take a flake all the way across that way because of that platform. This, if you look at this, that's not a good platform. It's almost straight up and down. What I want to do, I'll turn that over. And if I can, I'm going to hold it more solid. I'll make it about that angle and then I can take a flake okay you shut it off